In this video, I'll be showing you how to export your 3D model in Revit to 3ds Max. In our previous video, we have done how to install 3ds Max, how to install V-Ray for 3ds Max, and how to download my course from Telegram. So if you have been able to do all these, then you are good to go. We are moving into our 3ds mask. Now I want to see what we can do inside our 3ds mask. And before we can go into the 3ds mask, we need to export our model in Revit into 3ds mask. You are going to go to 3D on your, you can go to 3D here can also go to 3d here okay then you are going to go to file at the top left corner of your interface of your revit interface then you are going to go to export you see this one export to fbx this is 3ds mask file then select this let's leave it the way it is and save it you see the file type is going to be fbx 2015 okay so that means all the previous version of 3ds mask from 2015 will be able to open this file let's save correct it is done saving so we are going to close our revit now let's close the revit the reason I'm closing the Revit is the 3ds mask is heavy and Revit is a little bit heavy so that our system could be able to run as fast as possible and moreover I am also doing so many things on my system now I am recording my screen okay so let's launch our 3ds mask and i recommend that don't be online though i'm not sure yet because most of the some of the revit like revit 2017 revit 2019 nowadays if you are online if you launch it while you are online it will have license issue i don't know whether it will affect this version of 3ds mask also so but for now let's be careful not to connect our internet while using it so that you will not have issue with license until i discover it if i am able to test it with other soft other if I'm able to test it with my second system and I see that the internet does not affect it, I will let you know. But for now, to keep your software intact, don't connect it to internet while using it. Because if you connect it to internet while using it, the Autodesk will be checking the license. It will stop working. Okay? and once it stops working even if you uninstall it and reinstall it back it will not work until probably you format your system and formatting a system is not easy okay formatting and reinstalling all the software back is not an easy task so to avoid that i recommend you don't connect to internet for now when we have tested it that the internet does not affect 3ds mask 2017 i will let you know all right let's go ahead so i'm going to close this one now i'll close this what i will do to import the 3d from revit i will simply go to my application menu you see this one when you see this three here it's called application menu 
most of the software have it that is where you open you save there are so many things you can do here so we are going to go straight to import you see import click on the arrow and follow the arrow to link fbx that is the one you click on link fbx not this okay click click on this you save the file so navigate to the folder where you save the file okay now i am inside the folder now so this is the file i simply select it and click open now at this point you see presets under presets now you see all this one let me explain if you select combine by Revit material it means that all the material that you have set in Revit will be lumped together as one object in 3ds mass for example if you have brick you have brick in Revit by the time you bring it to 3ds mass all of them will be lumped together as one or you have glass in Revit a certain type of glass in Revit by the time you bring it to 3ds mass all of them will be lumped together as one object this will help you because if you want to apply material you don't want you don't need to be applying to each of the glasses because you may have glass on the window you have glass on the door you have glass so many places imagine applying material to all the glasses on all the windows is going to take a lot of your time but if all the material of the glass are lumped together once you apply material on one of them it will affect all of them okay so that is why i normally use combine by revit material if you select combine by revit family it means that all the families will be lumped together and applying the material become difficult you will not be, your work will not be efficient so i prefer to use this one so let's select this one combine by revit material and we are going to click attach okay this is another one incoming file unit we'll talk about this one later let's leave this one for now we'll talk about it later let's attach so we are going to close this one let's close this one for now you see this is our son from revit we are not going to use it and this is our camera from revit we will also not use it so we can delete them just select it hit delete on your key then select this one also this is our camera from revit we will not use it hit delete on your keyboard so we have successfully exported our model to 3ds mass okay so that is how you can export your 3d model from revit to 3ds mass see you in the next video